Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Um, today we're going to do a card um, using vellum. Now there is some beautiful new um, vellum in the Spring Summer Catalogue with gold and silver on it um, and you could certainly use that to do this uh, technique but today I'm just going to use um, the plain white vellum. Um, if you've never used our vellum cardstock it is quite thick. It's not like a thin flimsy vellum so you can do techniques with it um, that you might worry about doing with, with some of the thinner vellums. Now what I'm going to use today is this stamp set here which is Petal Parade and I'm going to do some random stamping on these three pieces of vellum and you'll see how it's all going to work. So I'm going to use um, Pear Pizzazz so I want quite a delicate look for this. And I'm going to use similar images on each um, on each one. So the next one I'm going to do is this um, larger flower stamp, and I'm going to do this in pink pirouette, which is our palest, palest pink. This is very sort of subtle look to that. When you're stamping this you really want some white behind it so you can see where you're um, so you can see where you're going with it. Then I'm going to use um, this image here and I'm going to use crisp cantaloupe it's just a little bit stronger than the pirouette. Now with vellum, what you do have to have, which I don't necessarily have, is a little bit of the patient's gene because I'm going to need to let this dry a little bit longer than I would on uh, regular cardstock. It's got that sort of slightly shiny finish to it and so you'll see that the ink is still a little bit wet on there. So I'm going to um, allow that to dry and in the meantime I'm just going to stamp a little greeting and I'm going to use um, from uh, Wetlands which has got some great uh, greetings. I'm going to just do a, a birthday greetings. Um, now I don't know what it is, whether it's the time of year or the inspiration that I'm getting from the Spring Summer Catalogue. That's a bit squiffy. That looks a nice version. Um, but I'm using loads of white at the moment. It just seems to be um, the, the colour that's calling to me. I guess it's the, the spring. So I'm actually going to use a white base card again. This is just our Whisper White. Now some people have asked whether the Whisper White cardstock is thinner and the answer is no, it isn't thinner. It's the same weight as all of our other coloured cardstocks um, but it's been smoothed. That and the very vanilla is actually smoothed and that's to make sure that when you stamp you get a nice clean image on the stamp. So I'm going to take a little bit of crisp cantaloupe and I'm going to punch out the scallop oval and pop that greeting up on the top there. Okay. Now I think what I'm going to do, for the purposes of the video, is to just blot these a little bit. Now you can you see they still aren't dry. I've actually got a transfer. What a good effect! We can do that. We can do that on another another project, but I'm actually going to do that with all of them just to be able to work with this a little bit quick more uh, a little bit sooner rather than to wait because you know patience is not my middle name. Okay. There we go. 
Now what I want to do is to layer these onto the white. Can you see the effects that I'm going for here? But what I want to do is to have a torn edge on them. So I'm going to tear towards me on that one and away from me on that one. You get a slightly different effect with the tears. And I'm going to tear right down the middle on this one. And now I'm going to adhere these onto the white card. Now my favourite to uh, um, adhesive as you know is Tombow and for vellum in my opinion there is nothing better than Tombow. What you can do is put a little bit on and then using the spready end and I'm not now pressing on that spready end I'm just using it to spread I'm going to get a very 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 thin layer of Tombow on there and it is literally invisible you're not going to see it at all. I'm going to lay that on and then I'll do again a little bit lower down, a little tiny bit and just spread that and layer it. My battery's just died there, so I've had to stop and start again. So, a little bit of Tombow again there. Oops, spread it out. And down onto the cardstock. And another layer. And I think I'm going to have just one more there. And really, how much of this... Um, you do see sure if that's a little bit too much. How much how many layers you do? You could cover the whole card or just a little, and it's entirely up to you, but you get this beautiful effect of the images coming through. Isn't that pretty? Just love it. Just love it. And really you need very little else on this. I'm going to put my greeting on. Down at the bottom. And a little bit of ribbon, I think, just to finish. And this is the... Old Olive Taffeta I'm using here, but uh, whatever pretty ribbon that you've got that goes with this, it goes with the colours that you're using, and just a knot. I say I don't want it to be fussy because I think the card itself is is so simple. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed today's visit to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Come back soon for more. I look forward to welcoming you then.